It's going to take something. If you're not used to praying, if you're not used to reading the word of God, it's going to take something for you to get up in the morning and not do the same things that you're used to doing. So you discipline yourself. And so how about I'm going to my place. I don't know what's going to happen when I get there. So God, I'm trusting you. I'm trying to do what you tell me to do. So if I get there, help me do what your word commands me to do. And I don't care if you don't make but five minutes. Go there. Because you're creating a discipline now. Run out and you got your truck started. Your car started. And the Holy Spirit of God says, you didn't pray, you didn't read. Turn it off. Run back inside. I don't know how many minutes I'm going to be here, God. But I'm finna discipline myself that I'm not going to walk out this door until I've thanked you. Because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even be here. I'm going to give you the first fruits of my day. Forgive me if the time is not good. We'll work on that later, God. But just help me get there. Because I find that you can pray a lot of requests in a short amount of time. Amen. God, thank you today for waking me up. I'm thanking you that I'm clothed and in my right mind. I'm thanking you for my divine health and the shelter that you've given me. I'm thanking you, God, that you watched over me last God, night yeah. and kept me from harm, a danger. And God, I'm asking you to bless my day. I'm acknowledging that without you, I can do nothing. And God, I'm asking you to protect my sisters and brothers in Christ, God. Ask that you, God, that you watch over them as they travel the dangerous highways. God, protect my husband, my son my daughter that don't know you god look on those that have walked yeah. away from you god and help them to return to you god i can't do it but through prayer you said you could draw them draw them back to you god in the name of jesus and holy spirit of god Commune with me throughout this day. Remind me of who I am in Christ. And remind me of his love for me. And remind me, oh God, to be compassionate as you are with me. Remind me, God, to have the love that you have. Help me to do it, God. I cannot do it on my own. It's not even five minutes. And look how much territory has been covered. Mm -hmm. So don't let Satan tell you you don't have time. Don't let him tell you that you may as well not got down there. We used to make a, be cynical with it. Get down on one knee and get up on the other. But the thing was you got down on that knee. God forgive us. You cannot shame anybody, ministers of the gospel. We don't want to preach to shame anybody into doing the right thing. We want to tap into their spirits and let the spirit of God do his job. We do ours, then God's spirit, he's going to do his job. That's not for us to be bothered with. Discipline yields the fruit of a spiritual transformation all of a sudden you're changed now you wouldn't think about walking out of your house you're transformed in just that one area one area take one area at a time because now you've jumped into this and what you'll realize is that your prayer will get longer what you realize is that if you're getting up too late to pray, your heart will start crying out. You'll wake up a little bit earlier so you can spend more time with God. That one discipline will yield a total spiritual transformation.